Hey everyone, this is Ryan from AlticUnity.com here to give you guys my full video review on the SlickWraps.com Carbon Fiber Series Skins for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I have one of the skins here from their Carbon Fiber lineup for the S3 to review. This is in the blue color. There's also a few different colors in the Carbon Fiber Series and you guys can go find them all at their website at SlickWraps.com. They even throw in this nice sticker here and I'll just leave that right there so that in case at any point in this video if you're interested in learning more about this product or purchasing it for twenty dollars you guys can go ahead and do so at slickwraps.com all of their skins for the Samsung Galaxy S3 are twenty dollars and you get pretty good coverage it's nearly full body but as you guys can see here with the side pieces it doesn't go all the way around the bottom nor the top so it's almost full body and for $20 I find it pretty reasonable but I haven't actually used the Slick Wraps product before so I am not really too sure about the quality these are made in the USA so it's better than you know some manufacturers that make these sort of vinyls but produce them in China these are all quality made in the US but uh, I'm, I'm actually not too sure about the quality we'll have to see but we'll just open this up here once again, this is the blue carbon fiber, and it looks pretty nice from just the clear wrapping here. And we'll just throw that aside and get to the skins themselves. In the box, you'll also find a Slick Wraps branded microfiber, which is great when installing any sort of skin or screen protector. And a little card here with their social media links, so you can follow them at their respective social networks such as Facebook and Twitter on the back let's see here scan QR code so I'm assuming if you scan this it'll link you to their installation page uh, at selectreps.com slash instructions in case you don't know how to install this it is a very straightforward process with the Galaxy S3 however it is a little bit trickier because the S3 if you don't know already has curved edges so the PR folks over at Slick Wraps actually uh, told me or recommended that I use a heat gun or a blow dryer or a hair dryer to actually heat the sides when installing so that it makes for a smoother process and smoother look. And I do plan to do that. But let's just take a look here at the skins first. Get a nice close up look before I install this. So nice precise cutouts. We'll actually have to see how precise these cutouts are after we install it. But it feels really really nice. You can hear that carbon fiber texture right there going on. And it feels really really smooth. It isn't really real carbon fiber. This is just a sort of printed vinyl. But uh, it does have that it does have that realistic carbon fiber texture and look, but obviously it's only twenty dollars, not a hundred dollars, like what you would be paying for genuine carbon fiber skins. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually going to install this onto my marble white Galaxy S3. Unfortunately, I don't have my Pebble Blue S3 because I actually exchanged it for the white one. And this would probably look best on the Pebble Blue S3 because blue and blue, you know, just match. Whereas blue and white doesn't really look too good, but we'll have to see. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I install the SlickWraps.com carbon fiber series skins for the Samsung Galaxy S3. All right, guys, so to start off my installation, for the slick wraps carbon fiber skin for the Galaxy S3. What I did was take off the back battery door and this will make installing the back portion of the slick wrap skin much easier instead of having this actually on the phone. So I'm just going to peel this off. Yeah, let's see here. just comes right off and this is a bit awkward for me to do on a camera because I am sort of in an awkward angle but 
Let me see if I can do this correctly. Okay, so I installed the back here and you guys can take a look at that right there. As you guys can see, I am a little bit off here and there and I, I try to do this as perfectly as possible. You guys didn't actually see me installing this all the way through because it actually was a bit more challenging than I had imagined and it's really much more difficult to do uh, while on video. Um, I don't know how the guys the slick reps do it but the fact that they can do this you know perfectly while recording is kind of incredible. As you guys just saw I wasn't recording and I tried to do this as well as I can off camera and even then it is pretty hard. I don't know if this is true but I would have to say that these are not uh, fully accurately cut. Uh, I mean the cutouts even if they were precise some things would be a little off and I noticed that during the installation for this back piece that if the cutouts are properly aligned with the skin some other things here in the sides would be misaligned or these uh, the connector area here and I noticed that the length the top here and the bottom is a bit too long so I'm actually gonna have to trim some parts off here with a scissor but yeah overall it's not the most accurately cut uh, sort of skin for the Galaxy S3 uh, from what I can see it does look nice though and does feel much better than that uh, glossy hyperglaze what Samsung calls finish this does look and feel much nicer it would look much nicer on the Pebble Blue S3 in my opinion as I mentioned uh, before but yeah there you guys go so now I'm going to install the front and the side pieces and I'll be right back okay so I've finished installing the front and side pieces on the S3 and so pretty much this is the finished result after installing all the included skins on the phone itself and I don't want to say too much right now I actually want to come back in a week or so and then give you guys my full honest thoughts on the slickwraps.com blue carbon fiber skins for the Samsung Galaxy S3 so for now I just want you guys to take a good look at how these skins look on the phone and you know just look over it and then in a week or so I'll come back and give you guys my full honest thoughts on the skins so due to the magic of video editing I will jump to that one week later hey everyone so it's now been a week since I've been using the slickwraps.com blue carbon fiber skins on my Samsung Galaxy S3 and so I'm now ready to give you guys my full final thoughts on the product itself so over the course of my testing with the skin I've made some modifications to enhance the overall experience of using them. So let me just go over what uh, I've done. So on the front here, the front is still intact. I haven't made any modifications to the front skin as you guys can see. Uh, let me just go over here. Now there are still some issues with the front and I'm going to go over them right now. So first off, the cutouts here for the front facing camera and these sensors right here and the speakers along with the notification LED light. Uh, the cutout for the LED is perfect, it's spot on. Along with the speakers and the front facing camera, it's almost perfect. Now here with the sensors, if the sensors were perfectly aligned, this the skin would just be way off, a little off and tilted. So um, the, the sensors are a bit covered by the skins and because of that I've actually had a big issue with this product when I am in a phone call the sensors do not work properly at all so when I'm in a call and you know I have this the phone uh, on the side of my head like a uh, like the natural position when I'm making a phone call you know obviously I'm not looking at the screen but then when I'm still in a call and then I look to my screen, normally I'd still be able to, you know, use the screen, um, you know, press the power button and uh, activate, lock, unlock the phone. But because these are, the sensors are covered, it's misreading some things. And so um, even if I'm still in a call, I can't press speaker. 
uh, the, the sensors um, are fidgety, so the screen's just always black um, when I'm making a phone call. I can't press speaker, I can't do anything. And so that was really, really bothersome and annoying to me. And I really, if I perfectly position the sensors, the sensor cutouts here, some other things here will be off. And so um, I just kind of had to deal with it for a week um, as the dedicated reviewer I am. And so, um, yeah, take that in note as well. But overall, everything else is pretty perfectly aligned along with the cutouts down here on the bottom for the capacitive buttons and along with the power button or home button. I'll just unlock it here and you can see perfect. There's no issues with sensitivity at all. But uh, with the sensors area, uh, the sensor cutouts, it really did... Uh, it really was annoying when I was in a phone call, so take that in con into consideration. Um, some things I've also done, or one of the things I've done to enhance the usage, is I've removed the side pieces because one, they don't even go all the way up to the top or the bottom. So I just felt like, you know, if they're only going to cover this much, I might as well just take them off. So that's what I did. On the back here, the back is. The back I did make some modifications to uh, with a, a pair of little mini scissors. On the bottom here, it the cutout for the micro USB charging port was misaligned. So I just got rid of that cutout altogether. And it doesn't even go all the way down here to the bottom anymore because it was actually a bit too long. But to make room for this cutout, I actually uh, messed up cutting it out perfectly. So uh, I just felt like cutting all this off. And I still can do a little bit more of a perfect job. It's not perfect, quite perfect, quite yet. But uh, yeah, and you can see the edges here or the corners here. I've just done some cutting here to make it a little bit more to my taste. And certainly you can do that as well because, well, these are just vinyls. Along the top here, it was also a little bit too long as I have stated during the installation process. Um, here these corners are still there because there's nothing wrong with them. But uh, I've cut some things here because it was a bit too long as well. The cutouts for the camera, the LED flash and speakers are now perfect because I've cut some things here on the sides. So that, you know, um, I may have mentioned this, but when I was installing these skins so that uh, during the installation, when I was installing the skins and I had the camera, the LED flash, and the speakers perfectly dead on, uh, some things in this area or this area will be a little bit too long. So because I cut some parts off uh, while these were perfectly aligned, uh, it now looks almost perfect. So uh, that's what I did. And uh, overall, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really did. So the only modifications I really did were taking the side pieces off and cutting some things here down at the bottom and sides that were a little bit too long along with the top here as well. And you can see those cutouts don't look uh, like how they were norm uh, they normally were. So overall those were the modifications I made and it now feels pretty good to actually use these skins. I must say I really do like how it looks. Um, the only really thing that uh, annoys me at times is when I'm in a phone call the sensor is not working properly so but overall um, definitely I really do like how these look um, but the question is you know should uh, would I recommend these for $20 um, I do wish that they were more accurately cut the statement that these are 100% accurately cut is completely false from what I have found with this product. I mean, I really do like slick wraps and their customer service is fantastic. But, um, you know, if as a company, if you know something's wrong with your product, but you're, you know, trying to say that it's completely perfect, um, I, I lose a little bit of respect. So, um, yeah, but as a reviewer, I just wanted to give you guys my full honest review. I don't want to lie and tell you guys 
uh, this product is great simply because um, you know this was sent for review but I mean overall um, these aren't 100% accurately cut installation is a bit of a hell uh, because you know if you're like me and trying to get it perfect on the first time and you've never used this product you'll find out that there's no way you can install this perfectly if um, you want to get a sort of better experience like I did you can actually cut some areas here and uh, you know do a good job at it though don't be like me and kind of screw up here and there uh, and your the overall look and usage of these skins will turn out much better for you but for twenty dollars would I recommend them um I mean yes if you have the time to make some modifications because I can pretty much guarantee you will if not I would not recommend these you have a lot more concerns with this product rather than uh, you know happiness so um, overall I would not recommend it if you're not willing to give the time uh, to make some modifications and that's all I really have to say and also another tip I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but if you have a white Galaxy S3 get a color uh, get a carbon fiber pattern in a color that matches your phone's color so white with silver and white with white uh, and black with black carbon fiber, gunmetal carbon fiber, or uh, this blue carbon fiber. And your experience should look much nicer because get a, if you get a color uh, skin and a color that matches your phone, things will just look a bit more uh, pleasing and uh, more uniform. So overall, that's my final thoughts and review on the SlickWraps, SlickWraps.com Blue Carbon Fiber Skins for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I hope you guys uh, liked this review and found it very informative and helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys all next time.